So in this example, ladies and gentlemen, what we have is now we have two equations. And um, what we're going to be looking into doing is, if you guys remember, when we were, when we were graphing, we had um, three different types of systems. We had systems where the two lines could have been parallel. We had a system where you could have an intersection point. Or we also had ones where um, the lines were exactly the same. So there's three different types of systems that we kind of encountered. Um, we talked about inconsistent, consistent, independent, dependent, and so forth. So basically, as and gentlemen, what we're going to be doing is now we're going to be identifying what type of system we have, but algebraically. And the connection I kind of wanted you guys to make with the functions is remember, when we have an intersection point, we have an x and a y coordinate, right? x and a y coordinate. So algebraically, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to solve to find what, those, what that x and y coordinate are. Now, the one thing you see here is I have y is equal to 3x. Just like when I said this, f of 3, what that meant was we want to find the value when x was equal to 3, right? So what I did was I replaced 3 in for x. In the same respect here, y is equal to 3x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace my y with a 3x into the other equation. So when we're doing this process, when we're looking into solving um, uh, substitution, one of the things we want to do is make sure you have your variable isolated, one of your variables solved. doesn't matter if it's y or, for, or if it's x. But you, have one, you want to have one of the variables isolated. Then you just take its value and plug it into the other equation. So therefore, I'd have x plus 3x equals 4. Does everybody see what I did? I plugged in the value of y in the second equation into the first equation. <coughs> and the reason why I did that is because now I have an equation with only one variable. I only have one equation, and I have one variable. And as far as solving, I can solve equations with one variable and um, in one equation. So x plus 3x is 4x equals 4. Divide by 4, divide by 4, x equals 1. That means where these, gra where these two lines intersect, I know x equals 1. I don't know where the, what the y-coordinate is, though, but I know that x equals 1. So therefore, to find the y-coordinate, I'm just going to plug in 1 in for x. So I do y equals 3 times 1. So I see y equals 3. So the x-coordinate, where these two graphs intersect, is at 1, 3. All right, And that is going to be what we call your solution. If you guys remember when we 